Hello, everybody, and welcome to Proof. I'm Michelle Hardy, and today my guest is Leah Savage. And on Proof, we actually ask about four questions. And so, Leah, how do you know that God exists in your life? Well, I'm glad you asked, Michelle, because um, his fingerprint really is all over my life. Um, it really starts from when I was seven, I went to church and I heard the preacher preach and my little heart was just touched. And for about three weeks, I kept hearing his voice just in my spirit, pulling me closer. And so from that moment at seven, I said yes to him, receiving Jesus in my life and literally Michelle from the moment until now, I'm, I'm almost 40, 33 years of his fingerprint throughout my life. I would say one of the greatest ways I know is I have a peace that I can't explain. There's a peace in my spirit, despite tragedy, despite sorrow, despite suffering, that it, it really doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So his peace is one of the ways I know he's in my life. And, and it's, it's just unexplainable and it's beyond my understanding, but I know it's him. Right. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. It's just like, you can't explain to people this feeling that you have yeah. Yeah, because it's like miracles keep happening. And yes. it's like, I don't know. And I always say, I don't have to know yes. how or why I'm just thankful, you know? So yeah. Yeah, yes. that's beautiful from yes. a, a young age like that, right? Wow, wow. Yes. That's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, so to keep things going, my next question is, what one thing do people assume about you? So, you know, Michelle, uh, I love this question because they assume that I am sweetness all the time every day <laughs> a cupcake with sugar on top and icing yeah. every single moment of the day so yeah that, that would probably be there some <laughs> yeah yeah i know what you mean it's like and, oh yeah and, and mm -hmm, she's always just sweet and 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 happy and you know which i'm glad i think that's a good assumption but I think my next answer to your next question will help clarify that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the second question is, what two things do people not know about you? So one thing will be kind of building on the last question. Even though I am sweet and full of sugar and everything, I... There's a lion inside of me too. Mm, yeah. So that would be the one thing that people may not know is that I'm a lamb by nature, but inside there's a mama lion that roars. And um, sometimes it's with my children and sometimes it's against oppression and injustice and things that I see that I know aren't right. Mm -hmm. There's a deep lion that just rises up in me and you know, she may come out sometimes. So that, that's, that's the one thing. Um, the other thing that people may not know is that um, I'm, I was going to say that I'm a mom, but a lot of people probably know that. Um, this is another thing people may not know. I am a self-published author. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> so I've written a book. And yeah. um, called Married to Love. So, yes, yes. A beautiful book. And um, I think Thank I you. have it here. It's probably in my, my stack of books. I know. I have it here. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful book. Yes. So, what Thank I'll do you. is I will add the link to how for how to get your book. Okay. So I'll get all that from you awesome. and where Thank people you. can reach you because it is a beautiful book. I appreciate it. So our last question is how, um, let's see, oh no, what, what three things um, would you like to leave with us today? 
You know, so the three things I want to leave, and um, one of my favorite scriptures to those who know me is 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And it says, now abides faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Yeah. So those would be my three things that I want to leave. Faith, hope, and love. Mm. And I would just say a few things about those three things, Michelle. Mm. Faith is where it all starts. That's where it all starts. Believing that there is a, a, a God, that mm-hmm. he is real. Yeah. I like to call him Abba as my father. So faith is so critical. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. We must believe that he is and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So mm-hmm. that would be number one, faith. Faith can move mountains, as you and I have, have talked about and testified to. Number two is hope. We can't have faith if we don't have hope and know that there there is hope. There is hope in our Abba Father. There is hope beyond this world. There is hope beyond the natural that we can see and feel. But there's hope. And the substance of our faith is that hope. And so we need hope today more than ever. And I just want those listening to know there is hope. There's mm-hmm. hope that we can't, it's not a wishing hope. It's a hope you can hold on to, cling to. It's as real as the skin on our body. There is yeah. hope. Yeah. Um, and then finally, love, my favorite. Um, I think our greatest human desire is to be loved. I know mine is. I can speak for my hope. All I ever wanted from a little girl is to be loved and to know that I'm loved. And so much dysfunction and trauma comes from not feeling loved, feeling rejected, feeling abused, feeling alone. And it all goes back to, am I loved? So I just want to leave everyone with this. You are loved beyond what you can even imagine. Um, We have a father in heaven who loves us. And that's the substance of our hope and our faith is that we are loved and nothing and no one can take that love away from us. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I love how we're in our group together. I'm so glad that I was introduced to you. And you do have this quiet side. I haven't seen the, the lion yet, right? I haven't <laughs> seen the lion. Right. And um, but you are just so genuine. Um, I love your memory because when we do the story tales, mm-hmm. you you just remember your 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 poems and things so beautifully. Mm-hmm. It's just beautiful. I love it. Um, so I appreciate you. I um, respect you. Um, when I think of you, I think of integrity. You know, mm-hmm. and um, thank I I thank you for doing this. You know, it's I'm stepping out of my shell of being on camera. Yeah. So this really helps yeah. me. So I appreciate you helping me along my journey. Okay. I'm so proud of you, Michelle. You truly you. just have such. When I saw you, I thought she's she's so small. You but because your spirit's so big. Uh-huh. And so you're just this cute, just petite soul with a big spirit, a huge spirit of giving and love. And I am honored to be your sister. And I'm honored that you asked me to do this because I feel like I'm being called out and and to share what's inside of me. So mm-hmm. you are giving me an opportunity to be obedient to that and just to there's so much that's been poured inside that needs to get out and so mm-hmm. your faith stepping out is spurring me on and helping me to step out so thank you sister you're welcome thank you so thank you for coming on to proof and i will be seeing you later my pleasure okay all right bye, bye.